And so right here, the CPI, what's the equation? You know it. EV divided by AC. Simple. And we could do the math and we could say 600 divided by 650. That's less than one, right? That's a bad thing. So right now we have a good understanding. We could go to the boss and say, hey, we're killing it in schedule. We got to tighten up there. You could say our, our trend is going the wrong way with the CPI. We're, we're right behind on it, on the CV. But here, boss, here, oh, 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 before we flip out, we've done a root cause analysis. We understand that we are pushing too hard. We're spending too much on overtime. We got to pull back a little bit. And I'm pushing my guys just a little too hard. They're going too fast. We're a little too energetic right now. We're not all following the process. We, you know, we understand that now. Put in the checklist. We got a little training done. We're going to get this better because we're overspending because we're spending too much overtime and we're breaking too much junk. We ain't going to do that anymore. We think we got it figured out and we're going to track it. She's going to help us. The boss would be like, this is why I hired you. This is why I hired you. I feel good with this bad news because you're ahead on schedule. You realize your weaknesses. You're mm, hitting it hard and getting better. We're going to do good. And so what you might say, and I'll do this later is the next thing is, okay, based if we make these changes, what's our prediction for the future? Now, based on our CPI and our SPI, we can make projections out. Because what does CPI do? It means every dollar we put into our project, just like pulling a lever in a slot machine, how much money are we getting out each day? Now, right now, every dollar we put in means we get less than a dollar in value out. While we're doing the work fast, we're burning money while we're doing it. Not good. But if we were, so if we were to project out at that point, we would overspend our budget. Bad news bears. All right. And the bosses might be like, get your stuff together. And you'd be like, dude, I'm on it. And so the other thing is when we bring CPI back to a good level and a, you know, an S or CV down to a good level and we go and look at it again, then we can project out and say, here's where we're going to be. We're going to be right or a little right on it or a little bit below the budget. And you can manage that, manage that, manage that every day. And if you present these numbers, to the bosses, they're going to be on board. It's going to be a lot easier to get support, emphasis, like driving behind it because they know you are being a good asset allocator and a good steward of the project. So this isn't some kind of Rubik's Cube of boredom and terribly, terriblicity, if that's a word. Uh, it's not. Uh, that, you know, that, that you just need to get through. No, you need to understand, and it ain't hard. I just explained it in three people right? So that you can diagnose what's happening in your project. So at the end of the day, tell me now what EVM tells you. It just says, how are we doing now? And it gives you the fuel and the insights to be able to say how we think we're going to do in the future. And the answers to those questions are powerful because questions drive revelation. Write that sh down. All right, I almost went crazy on that one. Questions drive revelations or understanding. That's what it is. Because if you ask the right question, you get the right answer. If you follow the right process. So, how do we understand it? You got to think through these people. See them in your mind. Make them a person that you know in your projects. Put this face a person. That might be your face. That might be your, you know, someone you work with. Make it real. And then see them as having a conversation. I mean, I'm telling you that if you do this, lickety split, you're going to get a ton of the EVM questions right. And it's going to set you up where you're like, dude, Scott, teach me the next one. Teach me the next one. Because it only gets easier and more fun EVM wise if we think this way. So do not, and just use this as a general rule for all PMP. Don't start with boring, hard, and complex. If that's it, don't think, well, I just got to push through. Uh, simplicity, imagination, creativity get you there. So that is EVM, the front end simplified. So what can you do now? What did I say? I said, visualize these people. Realize that earned value is what really matters. Production is what really matters. It's in every single equation. It's the first thing. EV, EV, schedule, cost. These are the foundations. Get that down. Think through your life. Do pro problems. And then as you're reading the EVM questions, visualize. Say, when you see, you'll look for the words. Should be done. Ooh, that's, what I, that, that's PV. See him. Get the value. 
is done. That's her. Get the value. Spend. You know that one. That's just numbers. And then you go through it. You can solve them. 